knees to my toes I praise the Lord Every day With my eyes and my ears My hands and my feet I praise the Lord Every day With my mouth tops I will praise the Lord Where my feet walk I will praise the Lord With a smile on my face I will praise the Lord God made all of me To praise the Lord Yeah From my head to my shoulders My knees to my toes I praise the Lord Every day My eyes and my ears My hands and my feet I praise the Lord Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Church School, as created just for you by the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church Department of Christian Education and Formation. Wow, that's a lot to say. So let's just say that your lesson is being brought to you today by the CME Church. Get ready for an exciting lesson with fun-filled activities. But before we begin, let's settle down and pray. With your eyes closed, and your hands together. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for giving us the gift of wisdom and reminding us what is truly important. Help us to always put you first in our lives. We know and trust you as our ultimate provider. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Take my instruction rather than silver knowledge rather than choice gold wisdom is better than pearls nothing is more delightful than she proverbs the eighth chapter 10th through the 11th verse good morning everyone and welcome to another church school lesson let's begin with an activity displayed on the screen are three different sets of people if you look on the left at gentleman a he has glasses on and is walking with assistance. We might say that he's physically challenged with sight, but he's not sad. So if you look in the middle, you see two young people. They are asthmatic and require their asthma pumps to help them with their breathing. Do they look sad? I don't think so. Finally, look at the gentleman on the right, person C. 
He is sitting in a wheelchair, which he uses to assist with his mobility. When we look at him, he's not sad either. In all three cases, the individuals have an improved quality of life thanks to their assistance devices, whether it be a cane, an asthma pump, or a wheelchair. In our next screen, we see so many pieces of what is, say, currency. What's it worth? There's Robux, which are the virtual currency of Roblox. There are a few different ways Robux can be earned or purchased. You can purchase Robux in our mobile, browser, or Xbox One apps. Accounts with a membership receive a Robux stipend. In the middle, you see mine coins, which are in-game currency, you could say, that we use to buy skins, texture packs, worlds, and more from the Minecraft marketplace. Many of you are way more familiar with these virtual currencies than I am. I'm still using paper money and credit and debit cards. While on the right, identified with number three, there are some items that both of us are probably familiar with. Walmart gift cards. I want you to think about how much of these currencies or the cash cards you want. Take a moment. Speak aloud. Would it be a hundred, one thousand, or even ten thousand? So let's return to the people that we saw earlier. Do you think I could convince any of them to take a hundred dollars worth of free Robux or mine coins or even a Walmart gift card in place of their assistance device? Probably not. The reason is because they wouldn't trade their device for any type of currency. A hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. Their aid is more value than anything. And they need those assistance devices to survive. It's worth more for them to keep it than to accept any money from me. What if I told you that I could help you earn a hundred dollars worth of free Robux, mine coins, or even a hundred dollar gift card? Would you be interested? What if I told you that you could get it and you could turn your back? on the word of God in order to receive it. Would you do that? I hope that your answer is no, because God's wisdom is worth far more than any money that anyone could ever offer you. Today, I want to remind you about a gift that's more valuable than any money in the world. We're gonna learn about that in our lesson. The Bible is one of God's gifts to us. It gives us instructions for our lives. We will discover that when making decisions, choosing God's way leads us on the path of wisdom. We need God for everything, including his wisdom and power to make wise choices. Money can't help us in heaven, but a relationship with God and doing what he says will. Jason was saving money for a new bike. It was taking longer than he expected to reach his goal. Jason decided to ask his parents if he could work at Tyler's mechanic shop. They gave him the okay. Jason called Mr. Tyler about the job opening. Come in tomorrow morning, Mr. Tyler said. Early the next morning, Jason reported to work. While Jason was sweeping, he overheard his neighbor, Mrs. Matthews, dropping off her car for a brake job. Later that day, Mrs. Matthews returned to pick up her car. Jason was shocked at what he witnessed. He approached Mr. Tyler and asked him, How could you take her money when... You never even touched her vehicle. 
Mr. Tyler said, here's some extra money for that bike of yours. Keep this secret between the both of us. Jason placed the money in his pocket. On the way home, Jason's father quizzed him on his primary Sunday school scripture for the week. Jason recited, Proverbs, the 8th chapter, 10th through the 11th verse. Take my instruction rather than silver, knowledge rather than choice gold. Wisdom is better than pearls. Nothing is more delightful than she. As Jason reached the end of the scripture, he burst into tears. Lord, forgive me. I've turned my back on your word for a bike, he cried out. He told his dad about what happened at the shop. Please take me to Mrs. Matthew's house. I need to make things right with God. His father pulled over on the side of the road held Jason in his arms, and spoke to him from the heart. I'm proud of you, son, and I know God is proud of you, too. Proverbs, the 16th chapter and the 25th verse says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. His dad reminded him that there are two paths, the path of wisdom that leads to life and the path of disobedience that leads to death. God has given us a great gift, the gift of his word. When we desire to walk on the path of wisdom, it helps us make the right choices. The Bible is our source for heavenly wisdom. Hearing, reading, studying, memorizing, and meditating on the Word of God will help us to live a good life. When we ask God for wisdom, He will gladly give it to us. But we must also obey the one who gives wisdom to us. Now that was a good story. I enjoyed hearing about Jason and his choices. On the screen, we've got some items I want you to identify as well. You probably know that the first one is a magnifying glass. And the second one is a telescope. And then on the right-hand side, we see prescription glasses and some contacts. Do you agree those what they are? A magnifying lens magnifies the object when the glass is held up to it. The telescope helps us to see things far away. And the prescription glasses or even the contacts improve the vision of people who may be nearsighted, farsighted, or may have something that's called astigmatism but it helps them to see better and their vision to be clearer. When we use these different instruments, it allows us to see much better. This is what wisdom does for us. It takes the fuzziness of life and any issues that we have away. Using the lens of wisdom helps us to walk in the way of God. But the wisdom and discernment of the Holy Spirit also allows us to see and to learn scripture so that we can live a godly life in a crystal clear way. So the big question for us today, do you think God's instructions are more valuable than money? Well, of course they are. God's instructions are more valuable than money because wisdom is to be desired well over money. Hi, honey. Which song are you going to teach us today? Hmm. Today, let us sing Kumbaya.
Dear God, help us to always put your instructions ahead of money or anything else in life. Thank you for the great gift of wisdom. We know that things will work out all right when we put you first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, my young friends. I am so happy to greet you each week in church school. And I call you my friends because you come to church school just like I do. We are learning more and more about God and much how much God loves us. And that's why I go. So I'm glad you're going. We create this video to help you get closer to God and to get to know God better and for God to know you better and for us to know you better. I hope you enjoy the music, the Bible stories and activities. I'm enjoying them as well because they mean much to me. See you next week in Sunday Church School.